Hello, all of you being gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to City Skylines 2. Just realized the game was paused. Part 12 in the Edgewood series, where I am learning to play the game uh, despite itself. Man, there's like some really dark clouds or something. Yeah, there's some massive dark clouds just kind of hanging over the area. Uh, it's not quite a lovely spring day. It looks like we're going to... This cloud's doing that thing. It's still weird. Anyways, it looks like we're going to get quite a storm at some point. So today, uh, I tried that sentence a minute ago and uh, didn't quite get it out because I am still under the weather. So I apologize if I sound a bit rough and raspy and all that. Not a lot I can do about it. Um, I, I've been sick now for pretty much going on three weeks. Um, just can't quite get better. Um, it sucks. We are going to bring in oil industry. We're just going to go like that for now. And then what I'd like to do is get this coming in off of one of the straight bits. I, I don't know. Whoops. I don't know how I feel about it going in on a corner. So our last straight section is right here. So we're going to come off at a 90 right here. And sure, we'll use that guideline. Yeah, there's going to be lots of weird edits like that because uh, I have a cough, keep losing my voice, but videos must be made. So here I am. Uh, so we're just going to kind of curve around a couple times here. I will turn my guidelines back on for this one and switch over to simple curve here because I want to get this connection in nicely and that'll do it. I don't think that's too sharp for trucks. I think we don't have anything to worry about. So we should have power. We have power. We should have water. Yeah, we have all that good stuff. What we don't have is any industry. So let's see. Yeah, it's kind of what I was thinking. If I if I do two of these, we'll get uh, good coverage. But what I want to do for this one is actually bring a little road off. I'm going to drop this here for now. There we go. And we'll get rid of the broken one because, you know, the game is good. The game is good. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I read, now it's last week's word of the week, but uh, it was just posted yesterday for me. And they were talking about how they're afraid that they're going to have to pull back in their community engagement if, like, a lot of the toxicity continues and all that. Um, and, and mentioned maybe not having as much communication. And I'm like, you know what? I'd be okay. I, no, I'm not okay with the toxicity. You know, I don't think there's ever a reason to attack a developer, you know, like verbally make threats and insults and all that. That's, it, it, that's just never okay. Um, however, when said developer is communicating things and are just condescending and just flat out evidence that they're living in their own echo chamber, um, I'm okay if that developer wants to not communicate with me as much anymore. I go for it. Uh, that that would be just fine in my book uh, for them to cease some communications because what they've had so far has been not good. Tone deaf, I think, is about the best way you could describe it. Uh, so I'm going to get another one in here, but man, we're really not optimizing our space. So maybe we bring this one even closer up to the highway. Uh, let's go with a straight line and turn our guidelines off. And then bring that to about there and then straight over. There we go. And yeah, that'll get us much better coverage. So I think, honestly, it would be better suited here. So what I'm going to do is rotate it around. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to give myself a little guideline of a road right about here. I uh, will bring that off at a 90 and then a little farther right about here. This is just so I... Oh, that didn't go well. Just so I have something to uh, put this on. Man, just, 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 
<laughs> not good. Like, I couldn't see any of that information because it was all in each other's way. Um, how are you supposed to know what the game is trying to communicate to you with that happening? So, yeah, I think this will be better. I'm going to bring it all the way over to here and get it to where there's actually a building appearing. Cool. And then we'll get rid of this road and we'll bring a new one in uh, right up front. Where does it need a road, though? Just right there or no, across the whole thing? All right. Uh, we're going to go with just a smaller alley on this one. So does that make you happy? It does. And then we will bring that right out like that. And that should also take care of those complaints. And then we could do another one here. I, I'm intentionally leaving some of this uh, untapped just to see what our production is like. But yeah, I do like the idea of there being... Just a little bit of generic industry right out here, kind of fronting this. Hopefully, if I do these smaller, we'll get like some like oil storage type buildings. I don't really know, but we could do like a couple smaller ones on this side, like that. And then maybe one larger one. Actually, I want to put a parking lot in. And I would also like to have an office over here. Um, just kind of as like the company headquarters or something for all of this drilling operation that we have going. So let's go six by six on that. Uh, and then I think this area definitely needs uh, parking because there's currently no mass transit out here. Uh, what's the biggest one I can get away with? I can get away with that one. Cool. There we go. So both of our new crude oil factories, refineries, specialized industries, whatever, uh, are nearly at level five. They're both under on employees a little bit, but it's okay. By the way, we, I didn't quite get the buildings I was hoping for. Wood, cotton, wood, metal ore. I really thought that back in the dev diaries, it said, hey, it will spawn related industries next year, specialized industry. I guess that was a thing that didn't happen to. Uh, anyway, for our deficit, like 90, not even, maybe 80, uh, is all we really put a dent in that with those two. So that's kind of huge um, deficit that we've still got going. We are going to spend a lot of cash here. Uh, what's our budget look like? We're making about a million bucks a month. So we're going to come out over here off of uh, this area by the... Uh, prison and the post sorting facility. And I want to look at uh, the land here just real quick. I'll eventually click a button that does that for me. So it looks like things are relatively flat to about here. Uh, so that's, that's good because I want to do a combination of solar kind of out over this way. And then I think there's geothermal water here i think i think i think let's find out uh geothermal plant is one of these yeah right right there and we could even do another one right there if we wanted to but i think here we're starting to get into some terrain yeah i can maybe squeeze another one there but i think we do geothermal here that'll be fine and honestly we could just put it right on that road but i'm not going to i'm going to back it off just a little bit as as it is right there, I think that'll be just fine. So where do you need your road to go? Right here, cool. So we'll give you just a, a small little road that goes across both those lots. And then we'll come down here and tee in where this comes out. And I'm gonna try to get a little bit of a curve in here. Let's bring that over. And then, oh, this needs access too? I guess it makes sense. Okay. Well, I guess we're not going to do the curve that I wanted to do. There you go. So instead, we'll just curve this in. I was going to make like a nice little curve that swept over that way, but can't. So our high transmission power line is back here. But first, I do want to go ahead and add some of these upgrades. I want to get the additional turbine, which will give us another 100 megawatts done 
and I want to do uh, this, which gives us even a little bit more. Sure, why not? Uh, and then we've got our two lines. So one can run right over that way, and one can run back this way. And honestly, we could create like another connection out of town. That's not the button I meant to push. This is the button I meant to push. There we go. Cool. Uh, we could just go straight out of town with that one. And then maybe this one could just come to a transformer that goes into town. Or maybe this one could. Yeah, let's do this one that comes into a transformer and into town. I think that's the better idea. And then this can run back in behind here where we're going to do solar. Connect all that up to this line over this way. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. So... Uh, let's go over here and decommission this old plant. And by decommission, I mean old as it. Uh, which now is going to impact this line, but that's because it was just going to nowhere. Like it was just for the plant. We are also going to move our wastewater uh, to a different location out this direction as well. Just not yet. So I need a power substation here um maybe even a couple of them just to be able to connect in these guys but i guess i could just connect to the high transmission lines what are they called power line versus electric cable okay so yeah i think we only really need the one transformer over here i think it'll be just fine so what i'm going to do is bring this road out and then up to about that well, I'm in curve mode up to about there and then I think there should be enough room for a transformer I could be totally wrong and I think I am but now this will work fine so will it auto connect if I put it to the side or will it only auto connect if I put it right in front of me usually they auto connect I don't know why it's not today. It used to auto-connect. But we could just run it around back like that. I kind of like that idea. Let's let's get it oriented that way. Cool. And then try to eyeball it. No, oh, it spun around on me. Um, yeah, I want it. I want it facing this way. So that would be there. So stay in that orientation, please, when I bring you this way. Thank you. And then try to line these guys up right here. Like about there. That works for me. And then we'll just bring this road right up to that. Hopefully this comes in at a good 90. It didn't, but we're going to make it come in at a good 90 now that we know where we want it to be. So what I'm going to do is just put that right there as my guideline. So I know roughly where I want that to be. And it's still going to break, but whatever. We'll just have to live with it. And then connect these guys up. And then, yeah, just a nice short little thing. And then that gives us a substation uh, bringing 80 megawatts of our power, hopefully to help this side of town out. I'm going to unpause again, and whoa, our money just went nuts. Um, losing quite a bit. Not really selling a whole lot of electricity, which is surprising. Considering we added additional capacity outside of town, we should be selling more power. Right? I mean, we're consuming a little bit more, but we're also making more now because this has more upgrades than the last one. So why are we now exporting less? I'm going to watch this for a minute and see if I can't uh, deduce anything here. So I think part of the problem is that this is only connected to an internal connection. Uh, and I mentioned that a moment ago and then kind of just totally forgot about it. So we are going to connect uh, our other. This is another high power connection here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to try to get connected to that. There we go. And then we're going to run that just straight over to that pole. And now let's see if our... Yeah, there we go. We just jumped by like 300. All right. And my skate key is not working. 
that's neat. Yeah, my, my keyboard just... Okay, it's working. It's just not doing the escape key for some reason. Okay, so now what are we making off of electricity? A lot, but our upkeep's really high as well. Um, so we're not bringing in as much excess as we were, but yet the city budget is fine. All right, so solar. And I want to flatten out some space for this. Pretty big area. Um, it's already pretty flat right here. I'm going to go like off of this and just bring this around. And I want to get like two or three solar plants in here in this big area. That should do fine. The power line cut down trees. It did good. Well, not as much as I would like it to. Let's do that right now. I'm thinking about it. All right, with all those trees cleared out, let's get in some solar plants. And I want to see, where are their power connections? Out back, perfect. And then the road is up front. Oh, looks like there's also one out front, so that's fine too. Uh, where, where's your road? Let's just plop one down. Okay, the road is up front. Awesome. So cool. Let's kill that. And then I know we've messed up the trees and all that good stuff, but whatever, it'll be fine. So I want to bring this road down and then it's going to turn. Actually, it could just kind of follow what's here. How long does this go back? This goes back about 336. So where does this start turning? Right, right where? Right, right there. We're going to do a temporary road back to here. Just off at a 90. And then we're going to bring this in. And we're going to go past it a little bit. It's not perfect, but I'm okay with it being not perfect because this is here just to uh, give us the ability to... I forget what this was. 336 to make some connections here. So we're gonna make another temporary road here. That's at 336. Actually, let's do it where it starts turning, which is, where are you? Where are you actually straight here? The turn is so gentle, it's kind of hard to tell. But well, that's good enough right there. Cool. Uh, so at a 93, 336. Oh, and then we will make this straight to there, and then we'll just do a simple curve. I kind of like the idea of it following the same general layout as down there, but not, you know, everything's got its own little bit of a character to it. And then I don't want a connection this close down here off the highway. I think that's just a little too much. Plus, we could use this for a bridge or a tunnel or something at a later time. So here I want to do two solar facilities, um, just side by side, I think side by side. I got to see where their upgrades go. Oh, cool. We did a thing. Ah, oh, it's not quite long enough to, okay. My road curve is a little too close. We're just blowing through the cash here. So let's get this one as far over this word in where it can go and then bring the other one right next to it. And then we can extend the road if we need to. Cool. What upgrades do these get and where do they go? So along the side for the, just extra connection. This is the advanced tracking system, which can add up to 100 megawatts. And then the backup battery goes along the side of the back as well. I don't know that we need the extra backup battery, uh, especially considering it costs us 42,000 a month upkeep. This costs 150,000 a month upkeep and only gives us like an extra 100 megawatts. I don't know that we really need that. So let's get the power lines connected and we are just going to run straight back into our existing lines back there. And then now we should start exporting even more power. Yes? Because we should definitely have 
just a huge surplus now. Oh, these have to charge first. Yeah, okay. We won't have that surplus till these are charged. So we'll let these dudes get charged, and then we'll see what we're making and see if this isn't going to help offset some of the city budget. Not that we've been in a bad spot, but I wouldn't mind making some money selling power. So our first plant is almost fully charged, so we should see our export jump up here. Uh, oh, I didn't realize there was a battery charge indicator right there. <laughs> that was smart. So yeah, we should see the amount that we're exporting jump up. But we're not. I mean, we have 620, basically, 610 that we should be able to export, and yet it doesn't seem that we're doing so. Does this really need to go into Transformers as well? Like, do I need have to have both connections for this to do its thing? I wouldn't think so. If so, it's going to be, like, impossible to get this one connected. I mean, this one is connected. It's connected at the road. Man, see, that one's already connected there. Yeah, I don't, I don't quite get why we're not selling more power than we are. Because um, we definitely, definitely have a huge surplus. And we have plenty of places for it to flow. You can see it is flowing out that way. And then it flows over this way. Nothing is going down that line, though. So, and then nothing's coming down this way. Or this way. What? We have nothing going down these lines? Why? Is it, the like, is there only a certain amount these can carry? 400 megawatts. Ah. And we have 600 and something. Okay. So, I do need to have two sets of lines here. So, if you got that. This one is making 170 and 169. So, these could be their own things. So, let's uh let's let's change plans here. Let's get rid of that. And then those two will just be for that direction. This one is now going to come off two different ways here um it is going to go straight back and out of town i can't quite get that at a 90 so we'll just have to do that so that's just going to be oh i didn't make my connection out of town <laughs> just get the whole thing and redo it try again there now i got a connection out of town cool so that there we go now we're exporting 600 and something and then to hopefully help export some this direction, I'm just gonna, we're never gonna build way back here at the edge of the map. I'm gonna run a line that way. Though that may already be carrying as much as it can that direction. So we may want to add like another connection back here and go that way. But I actually, now that I look at it, we've got, 610, 619. So we're exporting everything we can export anyway. So cool. Yeah, we, we are exporting the maximum amount that we can. So how much money are we making off of it? Because these things were expensive. Yeah, in the end, we're making less of a profit than we were when we started all of this shenanigans. But oh, well, at least I got to play with power. And experiment with it because that is the whole point of this series is I'm I'm just kind of learning the the game. Now if we brought our service fee back online. Yeah, see it would only that wouldn't do much for us. So I'm I'm fine with letting the export subsidize the city for free power. Totally, totally okay with that. So cool, I, I dig it, I'm happy. Uh, the last thing I wanna do today though is go ahead and get the uh, wastewater facility over here, but I wanna be careful 
So I don't want to contaminate that water in case I want to use it for something later. Um, so I think we're going to bring it off right here because these don't have the worst ground pollution, do they? Yeah, it's really low. So I think it'll be fine right there and we could bring a little road right here for it. Just like, right like that and that'll be sufficient. And then we already have more than enough capacity with the one that we have. So this is just going to replace that one. Um, and then I just want to double check. My water is way over there and way over there. So yeah, this should be just fine. We'll just bump that back off the road a little bit. Nobody really wants to look at the waste treatment facility. And then what upgrades did we have on, where are you, this one? I don't know that we do. Yeah, we don't have any. So that one decommissioned, this parking lot decommissioned, and this bus line can go away as well, um, which I thought it just would, but it didn't. But that's okay because we're going to come in here and do it this way. It is the public's work line length, negative four kilometers. It is gone. So that'll give us a few extra buses that we can use throughout town. And this area is now cleaned up. Granted, there is pollution here uh, from where the wastewater was and from where the geothermal was, but that should go away fairly, fairly quick. What do we have going on over here? Oh dear. Man, you guys, you guys really boned up here, didn't you? An SUV upside down, car there, a car there, a truck. Oh, a trucker just decided another trucker. Just, oh, that's a bus. Yeah. Uh, so apparently a trucker lost his trailer. And that caused this accident. That's what I'm, that's what it looks like. <laughs> this is not even a trailer. It's just a traffic accident. I would agree with that assessment completely. 100%. Yeah, I, I think that is accurate. So I, I lied when I said last thing. Um, because the last, last thing is to carry on this way. Out here. And I don't want to make an outside connection here. But I do want this to go pretty far back here. That's still in curve mode, really. Okay. Uh, to about just short of the power lines. Yeah, I'm good with that. Cool. Because we're going to also do something I mentioned a long time ago. We're going to relocate our landfill out here, and we're just going to use incineration plants or recycling centers in other areas. So we're just going to get this to where it's occupying as much space as it can uh, right next to our oil production facility. And it's just going to go right here off of this road. Um, I do want to, let's see, which, what do we want to add? Um, yeah, I want to add that and I want to add that. So he's making a good cash. So we're good on that. And I don't think we need any extra trucks, but I'm going to add them. So we just need to draw in our boundaries for this thing. And we're gonna just bring it right along the line here. Or the yeah, the brown line. The trash line, I guess, as it were. And bring it pretty close up against the oil. Not exactly next to it, but close. And we're going to bring it pretty close down here on this road, just kind of eyeballing where that's straight. That looks good to me. And this side is going to come out to right there. And this side is going to come out just there. And give me a 180. There we go. And then we're just going to bring that up and then we will bring this to the circle. There we go. Landfill in place. So I'm going to go way over here and decommission this one. And again, by decommission, I mean we are going to bulldoze it. And then that will be land that we can use later 
for other offices uh, or not. Well, maybe offices, but for um, other industry, it's already polluted. So, you know, unless we went through a big remediation process, it wouldn't really be good for much. We get offices here, industry over here, though, and it, it would all just synergize quite well. Though we don't really need it right now because our unemployment is only 3%. Uh, we could add it, but I think there's other issues. We eventually need to get back over here. We are going to demolish this whole area and reorient it to the coast. I know. Um, but I, I feel it needs to be done. And I think we're also going to like... We're, we're going to redo a lot over here. Um, there's a lot about this that I don't like. This was the first city I really started trying to think, how do I want a city to work in city skylines? Um, and and there's things I've learned and things I'm not happy with that I think we could do better. Eventually, we will probably have a, a little bit of sparse industry out here. Uh, maybe some retail and some offices in throughout these areas as well. But it's going to be pretty remote on a lot of this. And, of course, we're also going to wind up getting rid of a lot of this forest. Um, I don't think we would have forests like, for instance, right next to the solar power plant. We do need to bring this road on down, though. Just to make that look like that service road has a connection. So cool. I'm, I'm pretty happy. The, the city budget is in a slightly better place than it was earlier. Um, even though we're exporting more, like, in dollars, our upkeep's a little bit higher because now we have two solar plants. Plus, we fully upgraded that thing, and I don't know that we needed to. But we're exporting quite a bit of power. Now we're up to the 712, so yeah, we can export even more than that. So I think this is going to come back down to a case of uh, the transmission lines. Um, almost makes me wonder if I shouldn't, like, sever this one and bring it this way and over and then cut that connection. Oh, look, another forest fire. And then have this just going this way. That might be not a bad idea. In fact, let's test it real quick and, and see what happens. Like if we get rid of this right here, that's now sending nothing out. And then we get rid of this that I know we just built earlier. And well, now we're getting rid of it. I'm going to bring that to there and then bring this just up this way and then across over here to this road. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball where this connection needs to go there. And that starts sending power out, but I don't think it lets us export any extra. Well, we do have it flowing out that way now, though, and we didn't before. And we even have we even have it going back that way now. So maybe, maybe we're exporting a little bit more. I didn't look at what the number was before. Um, maybe in editing, I'll remember to mention that. But cool, lots of utility work. Uh, massive, massive forest fire again. Um, kind of where I was thinking about doing a forestry industry, but you know, that, that, that'll have to wait. We are going to bring in some more forestry over in this general area. In fact, I need to plant more trees, but I'll do that between, uh, between videos and, uh, let that get grown in. Uh, and then we'll look at forestry probably next time. Uh, I know we've been really industry heavy lately, but that's because I want to have all the jobs here. And then bring the people in. I know it's kind of backwards, but it, 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 it's how I've chosen to, to go about it. What do we want to look at for our, for our thumbnail and for our outro? Solar plant? Solar plant. Let's look at the solar plant. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Absolutely lovely. So until next time, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.